my friends, my name is Jackie and I've lost 84 pounds following a low carb keto lifestyle. If you're not already, please consider pressing the subscribe button below and uh, giving it a thumbs up as well, that's nice. Um, first of all, um, before I do my weigh in, just to let you know, I feel like absolute crap um, right now. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is. I think I just got a bit of a cold. I don't think it's the big one, um, big, big vid. Um, I just feel like I've got a bit of a head cold. I feel tired. Um, I'm a little bit warm, but not what people are saying are the symptoms, uh, hardcore symptoms of COVID. So I think I've just got a bit of a cold coming, I think. I've been about for about three days. I've not been feeling brilliant. Um, I haven't got a cough or um, anything mega. So I just feel really run down and things. So that is my little bit of a health update, but I'm okay, I believe. And moving on to my weigh-in. Now, the last week I exercised five days a week, did really well on my fitness, stuck to my eating plan. And, um, but I did have some issues with not drinking enough water. I'm just trying to get back onto the water drinking bus today. Um, so definitely trying to get back on that. Um, I was really hungry on Friday, but I kept it as calm as I could do. Uh, but generally I did very, very well last week. And on last week's weigh-in, I think I lost, I think 3.8, I think last week when I weighed in. And um, I got down to uh, 262.2, um, which, is, which is my 84 pounds of loss. So yeah, stuck to plan last week, exercised quite well, didn't drink enough fluids, and I got on the scales today, and I am exactly the same. So no movement for me there. Um, so like I said, I'm not feeling good, so maybe that's also an issue there. Not drinking enough water, definitely, it's going to be a problem. Um, so yeah, not really surprised. I would have liked to have um, some something, even just a half a pound, but these things happen. I've had two, again, two proper Bobby Dazzler weeks in a row of weight loss, like um, eight pounds in two weeks. So again, another issue why. I think also as well, like pretty much the entire planet, I was very stressed last week. I had some anxieties and stuff at the beginning of last week and really throughout my mental health situation and just started, I get claustrophobia. And even though I obviously can leave the house and I was leaving the house to do exercise, I just felt a little bit overwhelmed. By about Wednesday though, I was fine and I feel much more calm. And I think getting into a new routine at home has made a big difference with that as well. Some people are trying to stick to their old routines and that's working for them. Some people are setting up new ones and that's working for them as well. So whatever works for you, do the thing. So that is me, I'm not surprised. Um, hopefully, I was hoping to wake up today and feel better from the weekend, but it hasn't happened. So hopefully early night tonight and I will feel good tomorrow and I can crack on with a bit more back onto my running. I did start doing the couch to 5k. Um, it takes supposed to take 12 weeks um, but with me I know it's probably going to take double that because I'm so heavy. Um, so I'm happy to that. So hopefully I'll be feeling good tomorrow and I'll be able to get back to it. Did a little bit of exercise this morning but a little walk but that's it. And also announcing my pantry challenge. So um, we did a shop um, we got a grocery shop delivered on Sunday. We hadn't been able to do a delivery of shopping for about three weeks, so we ordered what we thought we was gonna need for about a month. Yeah, so that's us. So we think we're about hunkered down for about a month now. Uh, we don't wanna be leaving the house unnecessarily, and we just want to uh, use what we've got and leave the shops alone so we're not overcrowding it and taking things that other people might need. So we are doing a pantry challenge, which starts today. Try to, we're going to just work through what we've got in our fridge, freezer and cupboards. Um, all of which were actually very full before this even happened because I'm a bit of a hoarder. So um, yeah, so that is also beginning today. So I'll be letting you guys know what I'm having for dinner every day. Um, I think as the beginning it's going to be pretty good. As time goes on it's going to get a little bit wild too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's part of the challenge. I mean, things are, I think, we don't think we're going to need anything. But we do have uh, the little corner shop. Um, literally one minute, two minute walk from our house, and they're very good. They're, they've got they're fully stocked, but we want to avoid everything. So if we need anything, we do need like anything urgently. We can go there and get things like cat food and um, things like that. But other than that, the pantry challenge shall begin. So perhaps you're having to do that, or want to do that, or thinking about doing that. Maybe you want to join me. That'd be awesome too. Let me know below. And um, yeah, that's it. So hopefully the plan is to do my pantry challenge every day this week, let you guys know how it goes, show you what I'm eating. I will still have my um, weekly weigh-in next Monday. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna get some good weight loss. And hopefully I feel a bit better as well. And um, 
Also, I've got an unboxing to post. I've, I did film it a few days, ago, well, about a week ago, but I keep forgetting to post it, so I'll sort that out for you as well. A little keto unboxing. So that's it, that's me. I hope you're doing really well um, and you're feeling good. I know some of my subscribers have had COVID. I hope you're feeling better now and you're back, on, back to it. I will see you guys really soon. Let me know how you're getting on below. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you in the next one.